वी आर गोइंग टू हैव द एप्लीकेशन एंड हाउ टू राइट शॉर्ट नोट्स ऑन ली चेटलेट प्रिंसिपल एज वी ऑल हैव डिस्कस द ली चेटलेट प्रिंसिपल प्रिंसिपल इज बेसिकली एनी स्ट्रेस इंपोज ऑन एन ऑलरेडी स्टेब्लिश इक्विलिब्रियम विल बी अपोज बाय द इक्विलिब्रियम when i say it is opposed by the equilibrium that means equilibrium will adjust itself in such a way so that so as to undo the effect um, imposed that's why i have written ki any kind of disturbance <coughs> that creates an stress on the equilibrium the equilibrium will shift in forward or the backward direction in such a way so as to have an undo effect on the stress or disturbance imposed imposed let's uh, have the different kinds of uh, parameters in which we can impose any stress that is the disturbance uh, created into that equilibrium concentration one of the most uh, common thing what we can do to disturb equilibrium is just to change the concentration changing the concentration means either you increase the concentration or you decrease the concentration of either the reactant or the product let's take an example when the concentration of reactant is Uh, increased when we have increased the con uh, concentration of the reactant the equilibrium will try to reduce the concentration of the reactant and for doing so the equilibrium will move faster in the forward direction so that the what we have increased in the concentration of the reactant will be undued or will be uh, lessened by the shift of the equilibrium, equilibrium towards the forward direction therefore we what we say is equilibrium will move in the forward direction in the similar manner in the similar fashion if we have increased the concentration of the product if the concentration of the product is increased the equilibrium will shift itself in such a way so as to reduce the concentration of the product therefore it has to move to the backward direction second parameter is the most common parameter is the temperature if we'll increase the temperature the basic the tag line is if you will increase the temperature the equilibrium will shift towards endothermic direction whatsoever with the endothermic direction that is it might be in the forward direction or it might be in the backward direction but the basic thing is equilibrium will move on increasing temperature equilibrium will move towards uh, endothermic direction so if if, if, we have, if temperature is goes what we have to remember is just to uh, shift the equilibrium to write our answer in that that respect that equilibrium will shift into the endothermic direction after uh, this all these parameters are covered we'll going we are going to take uh, some examples also then uh, the third parameter is pressure on increasing pressure equilibrium will try to reduce the pressure as stated by the lichtenstein principle so to reduce the pressure equilibrium will move towards lesser number of gaseous molecules that is if more gaseous molecules are present then more pressure will be created so the basic thing is just try to see the given concerned problem and see wh whichever side or either on the reactant side or in the product side which side has the lesser number of gaseous molecule therefore the equilibrium will will you have to shift the equilibrium or rather, rather equilibrium will shift in such a way so as to reduce the pressure and for that it will go towards lesser number of gaseous molecule but the if a uh, example comes where there are uh, there is no change in the number of gaseous molecules if the delta ng is zero that is the number of gaseous molecules in the reactant side and as well as in the product side are the same then in that case the change in pressure will have no effect on equilibrium but that what i i have said ki if uh, there is some changes in the number of gaseous molecule then we have to write a an answer on the basis of that uh, on increasing the pressure the equilibrium will move towards lesser number of gaseous molecule third is what is basically asked in short answers type questions also effect of catalyst as we know the catalyst alters both forward direction forward reaction as well as uh, the backward reaction up to the equal extent catalyst will affect both forward as well as equal uh, backward direction in the uh, to the to an equal extent what catalyst do catalyst just reduces the time to achieve that equilibrium so there is no effect of catalyst on the position of the equilibrium it's very simple then one of the most trickiest question asked in different types of competitive exams is addition of some inert substances that is those substances which do not take part in the reaction just they create some crowding effect so addition of that inert substance we can have this experiment in two types two ways that is once the experiment is 
अंडर कंडीशन ऑफ कॉन्स्टेंट वॉल्यूम इफ वॉल्यूम इज कॉन्स्टेंट देन देर विल बी नो चेंज देर विल बी सिंपली नो चेंज इफ वी आर डूइंग द सेम एक्सपेरिमेंट दैट इज एडिशन ऑफ सम इनर्ट सब्सटेंस टू डिस्टर्ब द इक्विलिब्रियम एंड द कंडीशन इज ऑफ कॉन्स्टेंट प्रेशर फॉर मेंटेनिंग द प्रेशर एज वी नो पी इज इनवर्सली प्रोपोर्शनल टू वॉल्यूम फॉर दिस मेंटेनिंग द प्रेशर नाउ द इक्विलिब्रियम विल शिफ्ट इक्विलिब्रियम शिफ्ट अगेन वी हैव in that case we itself have two more cases if delta ng is zero that is change in gases and the molecules is zero then there will be no effect if delta ng is not equal to zero then we have to move the equilibrium towards more number of gases molecules if we have to move the equilibrium towards more number of gases molecules let's apply all these things into a two simple examples which are commonly asked in our question papers in bsc neat exams in different types of competitive exams even in the exams of the higher education also they can ask some simple type of questions like what is the effect of these change in these parameters on the already established equilibrium like example 1 and example 2 let's consider this habers process the formation of ammonia the formation of ammonia takes place in a way that the reaction is Uh, exothermic minus 92.6 kilojoules uh, per mole uh, uh, energy uh, minus 92.6 kilojoules energy is released in that so thus we have to think it like it is uh, an exothermic reaction what i have taken is it's like if the question says nh3 concentration of nh3 is decreased concentration of product is decreased concentration of product is decreased then equilibrium will try to increase the pressure therefore the equilibrium will move in forward direction if temperature is increased as you see this is an exothermic reaction and you know that it, that uh, on increasing the temperature it has to move towards endothermic direction therefore the equilibrium will shift in backward direction in the similar fashion if pressure is increased then first you have to check that while answering the question that what is the effect of change in pressure first you have to look that what is the change in number of gaseous molecule here the number of gaseous molecules in the reactant side is 4 and the number of gases molecules in the product side is 2 therefore you know that there is a, there are more number of gases molecules towards reactant side so on increasing pressure reaction will move towards lesser number of gases molecules therefore it will move it towards forward direction fourth step is iron as we know iron acts as a catalyst in habers process therefore the, as the chart says catalyst has no effect on equilibrium the fifth one of the most important things for the competition is addition of some inert substances which do not take part in this so addition of this inert substance we have to go if the experiment says that the reaction is occurring at a condition of constant volume then there will be no effect as is stated earlier then if pressure delta uh, p is zero that is change in pressure is zero the constant pressure condition when then we have to say see that at that time the equilibrium has to shift towards more number of gaseous molecules that is towards reactant therefore the, the, in this case the equilibrium will move, move, move towards backward direction in the second example i have taken an example in which the change in gaseous molecule is zero two molecules of hi gives two molecules that is one of h2 and one of i2 if concentration of hi is increased that is reactant is increased reaction will move forward if temperature is increased the Uh, forward direction is if uh, endothermic therefore reaction on increasing temperature it will move towards forward direction if catalyst if pressure is increased as we have stated there is no change in gaseous molecule therefore there there is no uh, effect of pressure on uh, this uh, particular example on increasing on adding the catalyst i have stated so the catalyst will affect both the reactions in the similar fashion therefore there will be no effect addition of inert substance again will take place in two different conditions one is at constant volume no effect other is at constant pressure the at constant pressure the equilibrium has to shift towards more number of gases molecules but since the change in gases molecule is zero therefore it's it uh, the the addition of inert substance in this example will have no effect thank you